Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech. And in this session, what we are going to learn? In this session, we are going to create a people counter with the help of YOLO V10. So before we move to our practical friends, if you learn something from our videos, please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends, thank you so much and let's get started. So friends, as I mentioned, today we are going to create a people counter with the latest version of YOLO V10 object detection pre-trained model. So for that first, we are going to create our own virtual environment. So simply open downloads and create a new folder. Just go here new folder and mention the name. You can mention any name. I will mention here people. This is what my folder name and inside that we are going to create our virtual environment. So we create a people folder. So then just open Tony Python ID. Go to the run config interpreter, select new virtual mm -hmm. environment, click on OK. Select the folder which we just created, people, click on select folder. Now it's creating a virtual environment. Done, as you can see, just click on OK. Now we are inside people and the directory, the folder where we have our own virtual environment. So we successfully create our own virtual environment. So for today's project, I have created a new repository. I will mention the link inside description box. You need to simply copy paste the link inside the web browser. So you know, we train people counting, go to the code, click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository. So we successfully download our repository simply open again downloads and this is what our repository as you can see yolo v10 people counting main zip right click winrar extract as a folder it will extract our repository as of a uh, folder so this is what our repository means this is basically our folder which we just extract yolo v10 people counting main then again same folder so first what we want we want to install yolo v10 inside our virtual environment folder so imp.txt this is what imp.txt and this is the yolo v10 repository which we want to clone but first as we always do for uh, yolo v10 we want to simply open the shell so go to the tools then open system shell and here we want to mention our people path so people folder path basically so go to the downloads and our virtual folder people and here go to the people right click copy address system shell and mention cd space paste the path hit enter now we are inside a people folder here we want to copy paste our repository link git clone yolo v10 just copy it and just paste it and then hit enter it will clone yolo v10 folder inside our people folder our virtual folder we have done now if you open people folder as you can see we have here yolo v10 folder and inside that as you can see we have requirements.txt file which we are going to use for installing our yolo v10 so now simply open again shell and we are now inside people folder so we want to go inside yolo v10 folder so cd space yolo v10 hit enter now here we have our requirements.txt file so pip3 or you can simply go with pip so pip install space hyphen r requirements.txt and then just hit enter now it will install yolo v10 on our windows 11 machine inside our people folder where we have our virtual environment for yolo v10 so friends as you can see we successfully install yolo v10 on our virtual environment so we are ready now minimize all these things and again we want to go inside our repository yolo v10 people counting main this is what our folder again same folder now here what we want to do we want to move this coco.txt then our python code then our tracker.py and then our model yolo v10 s.pt this all files we want to move inside our people virtual folder where we have our yolo v10 environment so people this is what our virtual folder inside that we have yolo v10 folder just space all the things 
yolo v10 s dot pt which is by default pretend model for object detection for yolo v10 then coco dot txt this is what our label file and this is what our python code and this is what our tracker dot py now only we need here our video file so vid dot txt this is what text file inside that we have our video file link copy the link open browser new tab paste the link control plus v hit enter click on download and it will download our video file as zip format done as you can see we successfully download our video file now simply close all the things and go to the downloads and just move the video file uh, zip format as you can see ccdv rpi4.zip just cut and move inside our repository yolo v10 people counting main again same folder just paste it and here just right click click on winrar and extract here it will extract our video file so we want to move our video file inside our yolo v10 folder so right click cut and go to the yolo v10 yolo v10 is basically the folder where we have our people folder this is what our people folder our virtual folder inside that we have our yolo v10 folder and inside that we copy all the files required for our project so just paste it here our video file so if i start the video file as you can see friends as i mentioned our goal is to count people which going this side as you can see this is what video file a cctv video file so our goal is to detect people so of course our pre trained object detection model will detect the person simple and then we have our tracker.py file so tracker will assign id for each person and then we are going to create our counter so this is the video file simple so let's just start so just open thony python id and now we are inside our people our virtual environment so here just close untitled file go to the file click on open go downloads and our uh, repository uh, not repository our virtual folder which is people where we move our project files so p main 1.py this is what our python code just click on open and here it is as you can see i already mentioned yellow v10 s.pt which is our by default model then we have our uh, mouse event to move function for uh, drawing the line then this is what our video file then coco.txt then we have tracker then we we are detecting object then here only we want to detect a person so we create here a condition if there is a person in c then we are going to append our object rectangle coordinate as a list format for our tracker so basically we are going to update our tracker with detected object so in this scenario our detected object is basically person so we are going to update our tracker with the help of our list and inside that list we have x1 y1 x2 and y2 our object detected rectangle coordinates and then again tracker will track the object and it will assign the new coordinates x3 y3 x4 y4 along with the id for each person we have now unique id then we need a center point so cx is equal to int x3 plus x4 divided by 2 cy is equal to int y3 plus y4 divided by 2 that's it and then we have our circle our uh, then we are going to put id on the uh, rectangle top left corner and then we have our condition for counting but uh, let's just first go with our basic code where we have only object detection we are detecting a person and then we have our tracker let's just first cross check our basic code so let me comment all these things okay we have done so now let's just freeze our frame zero save the code and run the code no module cv zone yes we want to install a cv zone because this is completely new virtual environment so we want to install here a cv zone package cv zone hit enter and click on install that's it we install cv zone now let's just run our code done and as you can see friends it's detecting person it's detecting this person this person this one also so it's 
detecting a person with the help of our object detection model for yellow v10 s dot pt which is by default model so we are detecting a person as a object and then we are sending our object rectangle coordinates to our tracker and tracker will again track our object and it will assign a unique id so for this person we have zero so if i skip the frame as you can see six 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 now we have another person is coming watch for this person 29 31 31 31 so from here from here the id is still same 31 31 31 31 31 so simply here we can draw a line and we can create a condition if the person center point touch our line then we have our counter as we always do simple so we have our line so i have draw the line with the help of cv2 mouse event move function so if i start the code i have already mentioned the full code so no problem cv2 dot line so this is what our line in white color as you can see this is what our line so how do we get the line start and line starting and end point simple for that we have our mouse event function so when we move our mouse on the frame we have our coordinates inside shell as you can see so if i go here 2 and 363 and here also 2 and 365 so this is how i have mentioned the start xy coordinates and end xy coordinates for drawing line and then the start y coordinate and end y coordinate we are going to mention as our cy1 then offset value train then we are going to create a list and inside that list when our condition match we are going to save each person unique id and then because of the person unique id as is in a list so length of list is basically our counter simple so here we have our condition if our cy1 this cy1 this cy1 is basically our line start y coordinate and line end y coordinate so if cy1 if it is less than this cy a center point plus offset and cy1 if it is greater than cy minus offset then we are going to uh, then we are going to detect our object we are going to assign the id object and then we are going to save the id inside our list so now there is no need to detect object before our condition simple so if i start the code now as you can see this person is center point touch our line then we have red color rectangle but here it is as you can see this person is not touching our line so it's not counting it's not detected here it is also called, as you can see this one also so when the person center point cross the line there is no detection there is no detection simple and then we create our uh, we create our list so inside that list we are saving the id and then the length of our people count list is basically our counter and then we are going to put our counter on the frame and here because it's take some time for crossing our line it will count same id again and again so for that we create a condition please don't count same id again and again means if people count dot count id is equal to is equal to zero then we are going to save id inside our list now if i save the code let's just start while loop now we will have a counter on our frame watch we count one person another person is coming two we count two person this one is three three it's detected there is a red color rectangle there is a id four five six as you can see there is a red color rectangle and id also so this is our friends 
with the help of yolo v10 you can create a people counter i have mentioned a full code so we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye